it's probably not unfair to say that the Predator Edge wasn't the best. No! God, please, no! No! Uh, but thankfully, it's now been replaced by the Predator Accuracy, which changes 90% of the boot. And that's a really good thing, because apart from, you know, not actually sucking anymore, it also just generally does a lot of things right. So in today's video, I'll tell you what's good about the accuracy, what's also not so good, to hopefully help you decide whether you should buy a pair of these or not. Because I'm J Mike, and this is my review of the Predator Accuracy. So the upper on the Predator Edge was pretty brutal and the comfort suffered under it. So Adidas took the consequence and replaced the entire thing. And to make sure that they actually nail it, they went back to this material called Hybrid Touch, which is something that they've used before. And it's basically a synthetic that's used to imitate the benefits of leather. And Hybrid Touch is, um, it's a pretty good choice because it's just so much softer out of the box than whatever it is that was on the edge. And even in a market that is full to the brim of amazing soft uppers, this doesn't feel out of place. And it doesn't because it is soft, it's really pliable, and it just molds around your foot in such a natural way to the point where I don't even think that you'll really notice the boot is there. It just fits. And one of the reasons it does is this really amazing foam liner on the inside, which is plush and really soft and nice. And it offers this rich, slightly luxurious feel to the boot as well. It's not leather, but it kind of feels like it is. But another important change is on the toe box, where Adidas have thankfully changed this god-awful, almost square box-like shape on the edge to something where you could say the accuracy has gone full limbo because it's uh, nice and low. But actually, uh, the accuracy is really super low and pointy, but without ever being overly sharp or annoying. Because combined with this softness of the hyper touch material, you get this close and snug fit, but without any of that annoying pressure or any squeezing of my foot. And because Hybrid Touch also gives you the flexibility of a really well broken in pair of leather boots, but without that annoying overstretching, you can say that the boot lets you take your mind off of the boot itself and instead focus on the ball and what's going on on the pitch around you. And because Hybrid Touch is also this relatively light synthetic material, you actually save 20 grams compared to the edge. So it's now only 240-ish grams. Still kind of heavy, but it's lighter, so I'll take it. So when it comes to the width, the accuracy has gone wide. And I mean, really wide. But there is significantly more room in the midfoot in the accuracy compared to its predecessor, which was a relatively wide fitting boot to begin with as well. But seriously, the accuracy might be one of the widest boots I've tried in a while, which also means that for a player like me with relatively narrow feet, it's a really, chill fit in the accuracy and I reckon that the shape here might just appeal to just about any player and foot shape out there. In terms of length, true to size for me is far more comfortable and definitely the way to go. But Adidas also decided to change the Predator elements. So we've gone from the zone skin fins to little SL rubber blocks to add the grip, but without the bulk. And I'll be honest, I actually like that change quite a lot. It feels a bit like what we got on the Mutator and the Freak, but without that extra level of craziness of the grip. It feels like Adidas realized that they should tone it down a bit and make it a bit more mature and that they found out that grip is good, but then maybe you can also go a little bit overboard and get too much. So it's a very nice balance here and you definitely feel like there's this, you know, the firmness and a very obvious sense of grip, but without it ever getting in your face trying to steal the show. So what I'm trying to say is that it adds that confidence on the ball and feels like a very nice tool when you play in this really balanced way. And I think it, it actually feels very good, a very refined version of those earlier mutators and freaks. Now, obviously, you also have 
the crazier version, the P+, Plus, which has more rubber elements and this big clean striking surface. Hence why it also has five high definition grip blocks instead of the four on the point ones. But to be honest, I found the number of rubber elements striking surface sufficient on this one. And I never really needed more. But I guess on the laces one, more is more, so it's up to you. But apart from the grip elements, you get a slightly foamy, padded feel on the ball. And because you also have this relatively low pointy toe box, the accuracy feels nice and nimble and a bit elegant on the ball as well. Of course, you also have this little bit of grip print on the outside of the boot to give you that bit of friction when you dribble and nothing more. And I think that sums up what I like about the accuracy here is that it tastes and feels like a Predator, but where the elements have been integrated into the boot in a very natural, straightforward way, where the focus is on feeling good and then getting a sprinkle of that grip and solidity on top. And I like that much more than having this insane innovation story you want to tell, which ends up with an upper that just feels awful. It's a good direction. And then there is the facet frame outsole from the Edge, which Adidas have chosen to use again. And it's a solid one with a nice amount of bite and grip and a good amount of width and stability. And then of course, there's this little weighted metal piece on the toe of the outsole that we also know from the Edge, which Adidas say is supposed to give you more power and weight behind your shots, which sounds good. And you can definitely feel that there's a bit of a, an effect on the weight distribution of the boot when you hold it in your hands. but. On the pitch, which is where it matters, um, I don't really feel a difference. Which is actually also a nice segue into four annoying things that you need to know about. Because my friend Josh from SR4U actually decided to take it off and weigh it. And uh, <laughs> it's four grams. Four grams. So I decided to follow suit, took one off my boots, uh, just to compare it, played with it and felt absolutely no difference. And then there is the heel cut on the low version, which just feels, for me at least, a bit too low for comfort, where I don't feel the support or even the material around my heel that much. And it just leaves a trace of insecurity when I twist and turn. And I know that a lot of people will probably like that extra width, but for me, it's just simply too wide. I have quite a lot of dead space in the midfoot. And because of that extra width, I should probably also touch on the lockdown. Now, it's not a boot breaking experience and I can live with it, but because it has a relatively shallow lacing and it does have a pretty wide midfoot, I just feel like I could have done with a little bit more tight, secure, locked in fit, especially in the midfoot and maybe also in the heel. The lockdown in the laceless model isn't outstanding either. And while the lockdown in the high point one is a bit better, I'd still recommend that you use grip socks. So the accuracy isn't perfect, but it's still a gigantic step in the right direction from the edge. Actually, I just think it's a really enjoyable boot to wear. And I reckon that it might just make the Predator appeal to a lot more people again. Because at the end of the day, fit is king. And the accuracy just fits really well. And then of course does all of its unique Predator things on top of that. So after not really liking the Pred Edge all that much, well, I would say that I'm back on Team Predator again. But guys, what do you think about the Predator accuracy? As always, let me know in the comment section right down below. And remember that if you want to try all the loveliness on the accuracy, you can buy it in the link to your news board right over there. Of course, also, don't forget to subscribe with the notifications on and hit the playlist right down there if you like learning new skills. And with those words, I'll be signing off. Adjurio.